Hey everybody, welcome to the uh, Abington girls softball game against Hull here in beautiful Abington, Massachusetts. Uh, it's the top of the first. I'm your host, Chris Burgess, uh, here with Abington Cam today. Um, apologies for the janky shot I had to get started. Uh, it's the top of the first. We got one out. Holes up, obviously. Uh, number 31. I will, uh, I'll probably fix the shot between the next inning. Anyway, we got a foul ball out towards uh, third baseline. We got runners on first and second. It's, uh, it's what you missed when I was moving the camera and fixing it. Apologies for that. Uh, this shot is incredibly subpar. Um, and yeah, I just hit one out towards left field. Got an out here at third base. It's uh, one out, empty count now. Nothing, nothing. Uh, terribly tilted shot. But you know, that's all we can do. That's all you can do uh, out here sometimes. Anyway, number 10's at bat. Uh, hits a grounder out towards shortstop. Another out for Abington. Uh, the uh, camera work might, might not be great in this one. I, uh, neither will the audio, probably. Ooh. But, uh, yeah, I'm working without a lot of the usual equipment, so I gotta, so I gotta eyeball it, uh, see what's going on. Shot looks a little dark, let's see if I can do what I can to brighten it up. Nothing, apparently, nothing, that's great. Another foul, it's uh, two strikes, two outs, apparently I missed that. Um, yeah, 24 is up at bat. That was high. That looked like a ball to me. And a uh, scorekeeper agrees. Ooh, that's a strike right there. That's an out. I believe that was a quick uh, first half of an inning. I'm going to fix the shot and we'll be back. And we're back for the bottom of the first. Uh, Abington's up at bat, number two, currently uh, batting. We already got a ball. That first play was a ball. First play, pitch, whatever you want to call it. Um, I fixed the shot a little bit, if you can't tell. I apologize that the uh, third base coach is currently the focal point of the, uh, the framing. Uh, Hope you're able to look past that to see the uh, game of softball going on in the background. Uh, ooh. It's straight out to uh, left field. Number two, that's a triple. It's a triple and she's safe. Uh, quite the at-bat uh, for number two there. It's uh, it's good. I don't know. I don't know what else I can say. It's uh, an impressive hit. Um, and yeah, number twenty three's up now. Uh, the the uh the the lighting might look a little bit weird. We're working with uh, suboptimal weather conditions and camera conditions, I guess. Uh, but yeah, it's sprinkling. I don't know if we're going to be out here the whole time. Uh, this may get cut short due to rain, depending on uh, what happens. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Only time will tell. Audio might be a little bit weird because I'm uh, it's got a handheld mic. Anyway, we're at three balls, one strike. But uh, yeah, I just got a handheld mic, and I'm uh, you know just holding it up, so it might get a little weird. 
if I move it around too much. Anyway, number 23 was just walked. We got runners on first and third. Uh, really wish I could get a better shot than this, but uh, it's either this or like behind a fence. And uh, kind of think I should have gone behind the fence. Might have been a better frame shot. Number 23 just stole second. Quite a, quite a play. Um, but yeah, I kind of wish I had just gone. That's a that's a strike. Strike one. One ball. One strike. There we go. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't know what's more important. Is just having a poorly framed shot worse than having like <laughs> worse than having a chain link fence? Uh, covering everything? Is that more distracting or less distracting? I don't know. I don't know. I can, you can make an argument for both. You know, if you can get a good frame shot and make it look all professional and whatnot. And the chain link fence is there. That might be cool. Uh, but if you can't, I don't know. Do not know. Anyway, Abington just scored two runs. And we got a runner on second now. Uh, number three's up at bat. <laughs> That's perfect. Thank you. This is uh, Abington, right? Yeah, Okay. Perfect. Thank you. This just in. We got a roster. Um, number three, Mackenzie Bailey up at bat right now thank you I'm gonna be on TV uh, so yeah cool now I can be like somewhat professional that's a first um, but yeah the shop might look a little dark uh, I think it's adjusting for the Sun you know we got we got some Sun we got some clouds the shots probably gonna be weird all over the board um, but we'll see anyway two balls and one strike so far for uh, Mackenzie Bailey that's ball four walking so uh, <laughs> Christopher walking the first uh, so we got runners on first and second she can't see cuz I'm an idiot Put, uh, put the camera in the, maybe the worst spot possible. Anyway, uh, number five, Corinne Mahan just uh, stole third. And uh, number 24, Jordan Needles up at bat. Jordan Needle being her name, the S being like, you know, posture, whatever. You know what I mean. I don't have to explain myself. Anyway, but yeah, I'm working with subpar uh, equipment here. I usually got a fancy setup, but uh, we're going we're going lo-fi today. Just got my camera and a uh, handheld mic, so uh, stuff might not be as pristine as it normally is. Anyway, Jordan uh, walks the first, uh, and then. Up at bat now, we got number 10, Casey Strobel, a pitcher for Abington. Uh, she can throw pitches, but can she hit them? We'll see. That was a strike. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I don't know how long we'll be out here today, folks. It's uh, looking kind of gray. I'm having a couple directions. Might get some rain. Oh. That's a nice uh, drive towards second. Unfortunately, uh, Casey's out. But uh, Abington's got a, got another RBI. It's 3 nothing at the uh, bottom of the first. One out.
Look like a ball. I think I heard the word ball. I don't know. It's kind of far away. I can't really tell. And uh, it's a lot going on. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, up now is uh, number 34, Megan McCann, right fielder for Abington. She gets a pop fly out towards right field. Quite fitting, if you ask me. He was caught by the first base woman. We got two outs now. And uh, numero uno, Mackenzie Cahill is up to bat. I don't know season stats or anything, so I'm just, I got nothing. At least I got names this time. Normally I don't have names. I'm just guessing. I'm going by the back of people's shirts. But, uh, you know, production, <laughs> production value has been upped significantly today. Here at Abington Cam, the sun's out. Uh, we got three balls, two outs, no strikes. Um, as, uh, as the Beatles might say, here comes the sun. It's going to mess with the lighting of the shot a little bit. Another walk. Bases loaded for Abington as uh, number 25, Victoria Becker, comes up. Left fielder for Abington. Um, and a fan club over here in the bleachers. Uh, that was a ball, I believe. Yep, one ball. I got to keep turning around to look at the, uh, the scoreboard here. I just gestured to it, even though you guys can't see. You viewers at home. Did you just get beamed? 4 nothing, Abington. Base is still loaded. Uh, which is, uh, give, gives number two, Lauren Kelahar? Kelahar? I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry if I mispronounced your name there. Uh, Ample time, good time for a home run for Lauren. Be nice to see right now, nice grand slam early on in the game. It's currently 4 nothing, and it's still bottom of the first, and two outs. Ooh. Is that another ball, is that another walk? Makes it, uh, brings it up to five nothing, immediately. It's looking like a pretty good game for Abington. Um, I'm not going to talk smack about Hull because uh, I don't know anything about him. Anyway, number 23, Victoria Sapala is up. Shortstop. Um, <laughs> it's one out towards center field. And... Uh, Brings another two runs in for Abington. Seven to nothing. The bottom of the first. What a game. What a game. Evenly matched, some might say. But those some might be liars. Uh, Corinne Mahan's up again. Back to the top of the batting order, I believe. I think, I think she was first. I know I've said that name before. Anyway, 23 just stole second. So they got runners on second and third. Ample uh, RBI opportunity for Corinne. Unless she gets struck and out. But that might not happen because it's two balls, no strikes. Still two outs. Hull can't seem to uh, to close the inning. But, uh, yeah. Ball four, walk. <laughs> Lace is boated. It's definitely what I meant to say, not bases loaded. Anyway, Mac or Mackenzie Bailey's up again, number three. Forget what she did last time, but it was probably good, so can't she do it again? Does a, a ball look like? Yep. It's another ball. 
Uh, looking like shaping up potentially to be another walk, but we'll see. We shall see. Uh, ooh, Beender. Right in the leg. Anyway, that's another RBI. Or run walked in, I guess. 8 nothing, Avington. Great start to the game. It's going to be a tough one for Hull to, uh, to catch up. But um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. As a strike, good pitch from number three on Hull. I hear people calling her Abby, but I can't, like, you know, confirm that that's her name. So, whoops. Anyway, number 24 is up. Looks like she tried to bunt. Uh, that's Jordan Needle again. We already gone through the whole batting order this inning? I think so. I only know because I'm calling out the names. But uh, we'll see. It's going to be an uphill battle for Hull from here on out. Uh, just hit a foul ball down the, the <laughs> left field. Uh, saw my life flash before my eyes on that one. Or the camera's life, I should say. I mean, if it breaks, I gotta replace it, which, uh, I don't have the money to do. Number 24 <laughs> is up. Um, oh, that's Jordan. So who, who the hell was just up? Oh, Victoria's Sapala. Anyway, Jordan hits one out towards left field, which unfortunately is fumbled by the left fielder. Uh, and it gives Abington another two runs in, making it 10 to nothing at the bottom of the first. I, uh, I don't know if there's a slaughter rule in, in varsity softball, but I think we might be approaching it. I don't know for sure, though. Ooh. Uh, I totally missed who that was. But she just hit one out towards center field. Another error allows another run by Abington, bringing it to 11 to nothing. Still two outs in the bottom of the first. Uh, number 34, uh, Megan McCann, a right fielder. Solid pitch from Hull, although it was a ball. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's looking like a tough game for Hull, but um, I don't know whether that means having oh, a bunt from Megan. Bases are loaded once again for like the I don't know eighth time this inning. Keep stepping on the XLR cord because I got a comically long cord. Uh, number one, Mackenzie Cahill up at bat. Interesting strategy. Looked like she was going for a bunt there, but the pitch missed the bat. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of liking this angle more and more. Well, not more and more. It's slightly better than, slightly less terrible than uh, I thought when I set it up. Anyway, we got two strikes and a ball and two outs uh, at the bottom of the first. Looks like Hull may get another chance to bat. But we shall see. Another ball up on the board. Ooh, she hits one. Foul ball. So everyone's returning back to their bases. Two and two. Counts two and two. And two. Two outs. You know, it's nice uh, to finally have a beautiful day to be doing this. Past times I've uh, come out here to commentate a game. It's been... Not softball, I did baseball, but come out to commentate a game, it's been freezing. Or like raining or something, and so uh, it's kind of nice to be out here in the sun. Finally feels like uh, actually May.
rather than just like winter still. I think it might be a beach day if it wasn't, you know, 4.30 already. I guess you can go to the beach at 4.30. No one's stopping you. It's a free country. It's like Hulk called a timeout and now they're... Somebody called a timeout and now there's deliberation going on in front of the Abington dugout. Uh, who knows what they're deliberating on? Maybe it's the uh, Alabama abortion bill. Anyway, everyone's coming in. I don't know if this is the end of the game or just the end of the inning. Uh, we shall see. I've said that a bunch already. Because, I don't know, it's a good, it's a good filler. Should brought a should brought a hat. Sun's in my eyes now. Anyway, we uh, Aang's coming out on the field, so we are going into the top of the second. Uh, I believe. I believe we are going in the top of the second. Everyone's getting their warm ups in. Or the pitcher is pitcher and catcher. Uh. Just gonna keep going. I'll just improvise. Forget about it. I don't know what to say. I usually got a train of thought going. Today I just don't. It's just too nice out. It's too nice to be thinking. I should be chilling on the beach. Preferably with a Mai Tai. Maybe a margarita. I don't know. Something. A hurricane. Never had a hurricane. I feel like I should go to a. Uh, Go to Mardi Gras. Get one. I don't. Can you get them outside of New Orleans? Pretty sure you can. I don't know why you wouldn't be able to, but uh, I don't know. I've never seen it on a on a menu. Or I probably have. I just don't remember. Yeah, that sounds pretty good right now. A nice cold drink. Maybe a mint julep if you're feeling fancy. If your income's over like 200k a year. Uh, it just feels like a rich person's drink. Once again, uh, just trying to fill time. I don't know what else to talk about. Um, so here we go. We're back. I mean, we never left, but we are back. Number 34 for Hull is currently up at bat. Um... Oh, there we go. Hits one out on the infield. That looks like an out. Um, yeah, it's an uphill battle uh, for this inning for Hull. Or for the rest of the game. I don't know how much longer the game's going to be. Um, and they're gonna have a tough. They're gonna have a tough battle. I don't know if they're gonna come together. Number three is up at bat. She just hit a foul ball out towards left field, and uh, you know, up over the dugout and whatnot. Almost hit a child. It's not even really a joke. There was a kid there, like two feet away from where the ball landed. Poor kid. It's 0-2 currently. No balls, two strikes. Strike three. Number three is out. Um, makes two outs. Scoreboard still says first inning, but I'm going to call it the top of the second. It's 11 nothing Abington. Um, we got number 48. Yeah, it looks like an eight. Sure, why not? 48 up at bat for Hull. Tips one foul. Tips one behind her, so that's a strike. Um, yeah. Might be a six. I don't know, I can't tell. Like, no, it's definitely a six, but it doesn't matter because uh, we're going into the bottom of the second. And uh, we're switching. Ow. This headphone cord is a little bit short. I keep uh, getting stuck. Cause I keep trying to back away. Cause you know with this like handheld mic, I got freedom to move. Got about 20 feet of cord here. 
go out on the field and do some commentary. I'm not gonna, but that'd be funny. This is me out there dodging, uh, dodging hits and trying to get out of the way of runners. Make for good content. I think I got a new show idea for Justin. Justin being Justin Shanahan, the uh, head of Abington Community Access Media at Abington CAM on Twitter. Check us out. We're cool. I like to think so. I mean, we're basically like an AV club, but I think we're cooler than that. Anyway, it's legitimately a beautiful day out here. The sun, she is a shining. Isn't it weird how we give, uh, give genders to stuff like that? I don't know whether that's just, like, I think that might just been something weird my dad would say. But, uh, you know, I mean, like, they christen boats with, like, you know, it's always she. You know, different, like, things of, like, genders that we just refer to them as. Um, a lot of them are female, now that I think about it. Like, cars and boats and, I don't know, the sun. The moon, I guess. The moon tends to be personified as a woman. It's a little bit weird. Now that I think about it. Now that I get choked on my headphone cord. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Turn this, uh, turn this softball game into a gender <laughs> studies class. Why not? Anyway, looks like number 25 is coming up to bat, getting ready, and that is Victoria Becker, who plays left field. I realized I could have used this, uh, this roster last in it, roster last inning, uh, show who was doing what in the outfield, but um, mistakes were made. That was a ball, looked a little high. Um, was a little high. Umpire and the scorekeeper agree with me. I'm looking like another ball. I might have called that strike if I was the umpire, but thankfully I'm not. Uh, I don't know. I think I'd make a pretty bad umpire. Ooh. It's a, it's a dinger out to left field. Shit. It's a dinger out to left field. Uh, almost over the fence. Maybe I drop everything and then... I don't know, choke on the cord again. Get it wrapped around my neck. Anyway, we got number... Can't read. 35? 25? Still Becker. You have an idiot, it's still Victoria Becker. Or Victoria Beckham? Who's, who's that David Beckham? Anyway, she's walked now. Who's the, it was David Beckham, right? Soccer player? I don't know. Anyway, number uh, two's up. Lauren Kalahar hits one out towards left field. Looks like it was picked up, unfortunately. Well, depending on whose side you're on. Fortunately or unfortunately, was not caught. And, uh, got runners on first and second now. Prime time for a number 23, Victoria Sapala to come up and, uh, I don't know, do her thing, hit a ball. What is it, what is it sports people do? I don't know. I studied film. I don't know what, <laughs> I don't know what these jocks do. Anyway, base is loaded. That was safe. It was a single. Bases are loaded for number five, Corinne Mahan from Corin. This is one R, so I guess it's Corin. Not a linguistics expert. She hits one out towards right field. Not caught by anyone, so uh, that's another RBI for Abington. 
uh, if I was a more professional, if I was a more professional man like uh, Billy Davis, have a clipboard out here and be tracking stats. Unfortunately, I am not. So, uh, just gonna wing it. It's a high one. Gunning for the head, I guess. For number three, specifically number three's head, uh, Mackenzie Bailey. Another high one. Are they, are they just. It's looking like home. I don't want to speak potentially ill of Hull's pitcher's ability. Uh, but it looks like they might be intentionally walking people. Uh, but I, I, I can't tell. And I don't want to make judgments about the pitcher. Because that might be me. Because that's broadcast. We're broadcast all over uh, the South Shore. And I don't want to say something and then have people get mad at me. Even though, like, I doubt no one, I doubt anyone's watching this. Anyway, three balls, a strike, and no outs. We got a, is that a classic Camaro driving back there? It's a beautiful car. Perfect day to bring it out, too. God, I'd love to drive a convertible today. Be perfect. Anyway, we got a full count with no outs. Ball four, walk, another run in. Uh, that's... That's 13 nothing for Abington. Uh, we got number 24, Jordan Needle. Eventually I'll start remembering these people's names and not have to consult the, the roster every time. But until then, there's going to be an awkward moment while I flip open the roster to check it. Um, you know, that's the, that's the price of, media, of good TV. Anyway, a bunt from Jordan. That's a foul. That's a strike. That's her second foul, I believe. So that makes it two strikes. I don't know. I was busy ranting about a Camaro or something when something else happened. Yep, two strikes. Strike three. That's an out. Um believe that's the I think that's the third out hole has gotten all game and it's the bottom of the second because there's that thing in the bottom of the first where they like deliberated and then all of a sudden like Abington was back in the outfield when they had two outs so I don't know I don't know anyway number 10 up at bats that is Casey Strobel Hits one out towards second base. Good play from Hall. It's an out at second. But unfortunately, I believe we got another run in. Yeah, we did. So it's 14 to nil. Goose egg. Zip. Um, yeah. Number one's up. Forget who that is. Mackenzie Cahill. No position listed on here, but she hits one out towards left field. Uh, and I believe, did we get another one run? No, it looks like just one run in. Uh, so it's 15 to nothing. Still with two outs on the board. So, um, yeah, number 34 is up. Should probably be on base by the time I get this roster open the way this game has been going. Megan McCann, right fielder. Um, uh, she hits one out towards the visitors uh, dugout. That's a foul. Didn't realize she was trying to kill her opponents over here. Take them out with softball. But, you know, whatever. It was called a foul. She bunted and it kind of stayed right in front of the base. I would disagree. I would argue that that was not a foul. But uh, who am I to say? Who's to say? Who's to say? It's my John Mulaney impression. We got two strikes, two outs, one ball. It's another foul. 
believe they just called that a strike, which uh, I believe is unprecedented. In uh, yeah, because aren't if you get a foul on the third strike, you just keep going. I believe I don't think that's a rule in baseball. I don't know if it's different in softball or if they're changing it for this match. So it's slightly less of a of a slaughter. I don't want to be mean. It's it's 15 to nothing at the top of the third. It's it's kind of a slaughter. Sorry if you hear a bunch of like fiddling around. It's this handheld mic. Gonna keep clearing it. Hey, getting a little bit of wind, making it cool off. But uh, yeah, I'm just cooling in the sun. Got a water with me. And take a sip of that. It's tough to do uh, with the amount of stuff I have in my hands right now. Hope you guys enjoyed that ASMR of <laughs> me opening and drinking a water bottle. Quite good. Quite good. Perfect on a day like today. I didn't mean for that to be a ASMR. I just, I don't know. It's just in the same hand as the mic. I pulled it out, and you know, you know how these things happen. We all make uh, mistakes or happy accidents, as uh, my man Bob Ross would say. Pour one out for the homie. Of course, I'm talking about water bottle, not a 40 ounce of malt liquor. Although if you're over 21, feel free to pour out a 40 ounce of malt liquor for Bob Ross. I'm sure he'd appreciate it. Or just drink a 40 and start painting. See where it takes you. That might be fun. See how your uh, happy little trees come out after uh, after some old English. This is family friendly content. I shouldn't be Shouldn't be saying stuff like that, but um, what can I say? I'm a rebel. I'm a loose cannon. I do what I want. This is the uh, Adult Swim of Abington Cam programming. Where's Eric Andre? I don't even know where I'm going with this bit. Sometimes you just gotta start digging. You'll find something eventually. Of course, the digging of the hole being the metaphorical comedy here, or the metaphorical joke, and then the treasure just kind of, you know, you get my point. Anyway, number 20, 21's up at bat. Foul tips one behind her. It's a strike right off the bat. No pun intended. Nah, screw it. Pun intended. It's another strike. Looked a little bit high. She swung at it. Bold move. Bold move to swing at something like that. It was coming straight at her face. Another one she swung at. Uh, oh. Stupid. Stupid headphone. I'm gonna have it so I can uh, hear how my sultry tones are sounding to all you out there in TV land. How you doing tonight? Anyway, there's an out that I missed while I was being choked by this cable. Uh, hope, it, <laughs> hope it wasn't too exciting. Clearly not, because I don't know. We're just, uh, I don't know, how do you commentate a game when nothing's happening? I could get a tan out here today. Anyway, that's, uh, the strike two, strike three. No, it's three balls, one strike for number 13 on Hall. Um. 
Ball four, she's on first. Uh, one of the few uh, times Hull's been on base this game so far. Uh, this game that is currently 15 to nothing at the top of the third. Really glad I didn't go with a hoodie today. Would be uh, would be dying out here. <laughs> anyway, uh, 13 just stole second while 30's up at bat. Quite the bold move, but uh, it paid off. She's currently safe. Might might uh might bode well for Hall for f uh, might. <laughs> A minor stroke there, I guess. This might bode well for Hull in the future of this game. But who knows? We'll see. It's looking like a, I don't know, Herculean effort? Sisyphean effort? Sure, why not? Hull's Sisyphus. And uh, trying to get a run is, you know, the metaphorical pushing the stone to the top of the hill. And I guess Abington is uh, the metaphorical gods pushing the metaphorical stone down. The, I don't know where I'm going with that. But uh, I hope at least one, one nerd out there enjoyed that. You know, someone who reads, you know, Greek history or Albert Camus or something. Anyway, there's a foul tip behind her. Full count, three balls, two strikes. And you guys should be thanking me. I don't know what other commentators out here discussing philosophy, discussing Albert Camus during a softball game. It's another strike, she's out. It's one out, two outs, two outs, two outs. Um, yeah, I don't know who else is out here discussing the finer points of, I guess not the finer points, but Who out here is referencing Camus? Anyway, that's three outs. Brings us to the bottom of the third. For uh, for Abington, up at bat. Um, still 15 to nada. I don't know, what will I talk about now? We'll talk about... Uh, Kierkegaard or something? I don't know. Let's discuss philosophy. It's philosophy time with Chris Burgess. Really should have had a better setup than this. Keep getting all tangled up or trying to go too far. I guess I could take the headphones off, but then I don't know how I'd sound. But uh, at the same time, does it matter? Maybe I should just wing it and take the headphones off. Or maybe I'll just keep talking about it so I have something to kill, uh, to kill this time while uh, Hull's warming up. I don't know. I do not know. Wind's picking up a little bit out here. I don't know whether that'll uh, help or hurt Hull. Um, we'll see. Kind of, to be honest with you, I'm kind of hoping for a comeback from Hull. It's gonna be tough, but I think it'll make great television, and that's what we're all about here at Abington Cam, providing you with great, family-friendly television, great uh, in-depth coverage of the local sports. That's what I do best here. It is weird how much the sun just makes you feel makes you feel better. It's like a new energy, you know? Once the sun's out, it's like, oh. I can be outside and enjoy it finally. Anyway, number 25 is up. Let me get the roster out. Um... So I can see that it's Victoria Becker, the left fielder for Abington, Abington. 
I'm sorry, I just realized how poorly that shot was framed. You couldn't even see the pitcher. I don't know if that was like that for the whole last inning. Um, it was definitely like that then, so I apologize. I don't have my big fancy uh, camera monitor, so I got this tiny screen. I keep backing up to like actually watch the game rather than just like look at the screen. And I keep, uh, anytime I'm gonna move the camera, that lets me, uh, you know, I'm all out of whack. Ball four, that's a walk. Runner on first. I really should have brought a shorter XLR cable. You got like 20 feet of cable, and about 15 of it is just in a coil on the ground, and I keep keep tripping over it. Oh, it's going to be annoying to have to coil up later. Anyway, now we got number nine. Is uh, not on the roster. Number nine's not on the roster, so. Number nine, Who? Criselda Berg. Berg. Number nine. There we go. Um, center. Center, field. center field. Thank you. Okay. Apparently, they're switching out batters here. It's fine. I'll just wing it. <laughs> you got some helpful fans over here in the audience. Uh, Criselda just hit something somewhere. I was not paying attention you know like a true professional unfortunately she's out um, anyway now we have uh, Victoria number 23 up at bat see how she does and in that you know number 25 got to first second you know what I mean you've been paying attention right anyway Victoria's on first yeah, runners on first and third. Yeah, Vic Victoria and Victoria currently on base. And number five's up. It's Corin Mahan. Um, yeah. It's looking prime for another RBI. But we shall see. Oh, she's out. And uh, Victoria just took a little spill there at home. And uh, th that run seems to not have counted. No, it counted. 16 zip. 16 to nothing. One out. No balls, no strikes. Bottom of the third. Oh, it's two outs. Two outs now. I'm an idiot. Wasn't paying attention. Anyway, that's about... What? What's math? That'd be five runs an inning, average? Uh, we just entirely missed... Someone's at bat. Can't read the number from here. I believe that was Lauren Kalahar. I think I saw it too. Might not be. To be honest with you. Anyway, Jordan Needle. First base woman's up at bat. Looked like a ball. She went for a bunt. Went over it. That is one ball, yeah. I mean, the sun's going away again. Another ball is a little too low. Trying to do some worm extermination, I guess. Sun's going away, and it looks like we got uh, quite a bit of time before it comes out again. Sky's looking pretty cloud. Uh, apparently there was a uh, an error. Someone let off a base too soon, and uh, we're bringing us into the top of the fourth. Holt gets another chance to close the the chasm that is currently the game. Sixteen nothing. It's uh not an easy thing to come back from. Both uh, in mathematically and morally it's going to be pretty demoralizing to 
I, I gotta stop doing that. Apologies to uh, residents of Hull and the softball team if I'm insulting you. I don't mean to. Just, uh, just a man doing my job. I, I calls it like I sees it. I am but a man. The sun, sun has made a return directly into my eyes. Um, I'm going to take this moment to try to straighten out the camera a little bit. You know what? I'm not even going to stop recording. I'm just going to do it. I'm play a little fast and loose. No, nope, apparently that's as far as it's going to go. There we go. That looks a little bit better. I think. I don't know, it's kind of subjective. I like it a little bit better. Now, let me zoom out a little bit. Let me, let me just give you the wide shot. Give you everything. Screw it. Give you the whole view. The whole... <laughs> the whole enchilada. It's me choking on this cord again. I keep forgetting it's there. Not used to it. Anyway, we got a little little powwow up on the mound for Abington. Um, it's like they're psyching themselves up. I don't really see why they need to. It's quite the uh, quite the lead they got. Is powwow racist? It feels like it should be racist, but I'm not sure. Anyway, holes back up at bat. Number ten. Can she be the savior of the team? Ooh, that's a low one. It's a low one. I don't know what the call was on that one. I didn't hear it. Number 10 is apparently Jordan, according to the uh, screams from the other side. <laughs> according to the screams from the other side of the, the field. But I can neither confirm nor deny that was a strike. Got one strike on the board. It's a second strike from a foul tip right behind her, almost in the parking lot. I don't know if you can see her. Third base coach is in the way a little bit, but, you know, I feel bad. This is number 10's time in the spotlight, and third base coach is there. I'm not going to speak ill anyway. I don't know, characterizing it as her time in the spotlight feels a little bit weird, but, you know. Anyway, full count. Three balls, two strikes, no outs. 16 runs for Abington. Zero for Hull. Third strike is out. It's one out. It's one out, everybody. I've been keeping track. Got a nice breeze now. It's pleasant. Cooling off a little bit. Nice pitch. Strike. Nice pitch from number 25. Nice pitch from number 25, Victoria Becker, uh, who has apparently moved from left field onto the pitcher's mound. Anyway, number 24 is up at bat currently. Let's see what she can do. Is she the savior? Can she save her team? As a ball, as a high one. Two strikes, one ball. One out. Four innings, three and a half, I guess. I don't know. There's a low one. There's another ball. Two balls, three balls. The score keeps going to be a little bit faster on the, on the draw here. Making me look like a fool. Anyway. She hits one out. That's a nice hit. 
They got a runner on base now. Uh, nice hit out towards left field. Nice, nice strike from uh, Victoria there. I don't know. What do you guys want to talk about? Been listening to any good music lately? Been, uh, been getting into the Talking Heads recently. You know, David Byrne and Tina Weymouth and them. Solid band, solid band, very solid. You know, once in a lifetime's a classic. This must be the place, another classic. I mean, really, the whole a lot of their discoveries above par, above average. Um, sign of a great band that they've been able to maintain their legacy for this long. Really. Anyway, number 34 is out. It's two outs now. Um, but yeah, Stop Making Sense by Talking Heads. Fantastic album. Highly recommend it. Yeah, it's like their, their live album, live recording of their show. I think pretty much every song on the live uh, album is better than the studio one. Save for Once in a Lifetime. It's hard to beat Burns Energy on the, uh, the studio recording. I don't know, I'm just, just rambling, trying to talk about something. I have the Talking Heads podcast. Talking, talking heads. Anyway, uh, the runner on first just stole second. That's what you missed while I was discussing some of the finer points of the Talking Heads discography. Ooh. It's another low one. Trying to exterminate some cockroaches, I guess. Uh, I, I don't think the Abington Field is cockroaches, just, just so you know. But um, it's two outs now. Got a new batter, number 48. I feel like this happened last time where I couldn't tell whether it was six or eight. It might have been the same person, too. So I'm going to... Definitely looks like an eight, but... You can't even say... And anyway, it's two strikes. Uh, apologies for the for the framing. Again, it's another strike. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Zero runs for Hall. S Sixteen for Abington. Two balls. The second one is another low, is another grounder, a slider maybe. Strike three, she's out. That's a, that's a change in the inning. Bringing us to the bottom of the fourth. Where Abington will um, <laughs> try to hold on to their lead, try to no, to not try to hold on to it. Try to try to widen it. Try to widen the chasm that they've created already for themselves. And uh, who knows? They might be successful. Maybe we'll be at a uh, twenty to nothing by the end. Of, I'll call it now. By the end of the inning, we'll be at twenty to nothing. At least, maybe even twenty-one. Who knows? Check back with me in a. I don't know, 20 minutes? 15, 20 minutes, how long is an inning? In softball, I know it's three outs, but like, Abington's getting back on, getting back out in the outfield. Unprecedented. We giving them another shot? What is going on here? Ladies and gentlemen, in all my years of sports commentary, I've never seen something like this. This is an unprecedented move. They're going totally rogue. What are rules? This is total anarchy now. Oh, they're starting a new game. Okay. All right, surprise doubleheader. Cool. Thank you. All right, 
They're starting another game. Uh, I'm just going to keep rolling, I guess. Uh, Chris, just a note for when you're editing this. Reset the score to nothing to nothing now. Just, you know, a note for future you. Because you will forget. You should know by now, uh, you know, whether I forgot, because you'll see it, whether it says 16 to nothing or nothing to nothing. Hopefully by now it says nothing to nothing. Goose egg to goose egg. Oh, and don't forget to change the inning, too. We're back at the top of the first, because I know you probably forgot that. And I got a two for today. That's pretty cool. Two games for the price of one, but I mean the price of one is free, so um, cool. So we have it's completely changed, so I wouldn't go buy that. All right. All right. All right. All right. It's like there are uh, a lot of players switching positions here. I'm trying to fix my sock and also not fall over like an idiot. Unsuccessful. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Anyway. I don't know what to say, so I'm just going to drink water. Hope you enjoy that. I uh, guess in theory I should have stopped the recording to start a new one now. But, um, you know, who cares? I'm going to say it. I don't care. It'll make much more interesting TV if it's not two separate shows. I feel like if we just had that, you know, if they were two separate shows airing, that last one would be pretty uh, anticlimactic. But we'll see. We will see. I only got this one water, so and I'm already like halfway done with it. Don't know how long it's going to last me. Anyway, 27's up at bat for Hull. That was a low ball. It was a, it was a ball. It was a grounder. I don't want to jinx it, but the third base coach isn't here, and the shot's looking significantly better. It's uh, two strikes, three strikes, one ball. I don't know what. One strike, one ball, according to the scoreboard that's behind me. Anyway, while I was looking at the scoreboard, hits one out to center field on first. Uh, that's cool. Cool. This is a second chance for Hull to... Um... <laughs> the second chance for Hull to come back. Or not, not to win, I guess. Anyway, number 13's up. It's a whole new game. Whole new game. Fresh restart, Pete. It's looking like two balls. Last. Oh, that was a strike. Okay. 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 <laughs> what the hell am I doing? Ah, she hits one. Pop fly to center field. That's an out. Caught by number 23. Pretty sure that name's on my roster. I want to give proper credit credits due. 23 of course. <laughs> Victoria Seppala with the catch there. Short stop. Stierike. Anyway, counts one. No balls. One strike, one out. In the top of the first in the second game 
It's two strikes because it was a foul. It was a foul, a little foul for you there. No balls, two strikes, according to the umpire. He's correct. Not one ball, two strikes. One out. Nothing, nothing, top of the first. It's going down to the basics, people. We found the basics of sports commentary, just saying the count and the score. A nice line drive, I think. I think that's a line drive. Out towards um, right field. I forgot my lefts and rights for a second there. Out towards right field and uh, and a runner on first and second now. A nice single from 13. I believe that was her number. Um, so I jinxed it earlier, and the third base coach is back. I apologize. Even though was, I guess I could do something, but I feel like that would be rude. Anyway, number 31's here. Hits it towards third. That's one out. Two outs. That is a double play. Bringing us to the bottom of the first. Uh, still nothing, nothing. Yeah. Solid, uh, solid half inning by both teams there. Oh, no, no. Looks like that's the end. Doing their uh, lineup, good game. Everything. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I guess we're uh, we're signing off. The outcome of the second game was nothing, nothing. They might have just been doing half an inning to try to get. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, Abington wins sixteen to nothing. I guess. And now. Uh, The official score is seven to nothing, according to the umpire there. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Seven nothing. Uh, we we know the real score though. It was sixteen nothing. There we go. <laughs> Hello, here at Abington. <laughs> <laughs> Abington, you're celebrating their win. And uh, anyway. <laughs> This is Chris Burgess signing off for Abington Camp.